Hello, faithful viewers, and welcome to Mr. Who Reviews. Where today I'll be reviewing Dining Phantom Episode 1 Mystery Meat. Now, those of you that don't know what Dining Phantom is, let me just say, let me just first say that it's from the creator of Reappearance, and it may look the same, look the same from their appearance with the flat animation, but it is very different. Their appearance was about ma magic and just some silly stuff and a lot of comedy and just um, and some like guess serious moments. But Danny Phantom only has a bit of that and more. The series stuff is way more serious than in their appearance and there's a lot more action sequences and some very dark episodes in, in some of the seasons. I think maybe more near superior to their appearance but eh. and that is still on the air and spun spot for some reason. It makes no sense. It just baffles the mind. Anyway, the show is about a 14 year old called Danny Fenton where in his town Amity Park ghosts actually exist. There's this whole world where ghosts exist. There are either those beings that live in the world or actual spirits that were from the human world. And they call it the ghost zone. And people kind of accepted it but still freaked out by ghosts. Well, for the Amory really accepted it, they just really think that it don't exist, but... Hmm. Anyway, his parents are ghost hunters and scientists in, like, mystical stuff, or just ghost stuff. And they this portal to the ghost zone, so I know how the bad ghosts get into our world. Uh -huh. But it does also make uh, like uh, weapons or tools to fight ghosts. Hmm. Well, when the first event is the portal, Danny, Danny actually caused an accident to gain the ghost powers, and he did freaked out by it. And with Danny trying to help him with it, is his two best friends, Tucker, who is a techno geek and lover of meat and Samantha who is a god but also let's see uh, like he's, well he's all sort of a lot of stuff like hippy dippy things recycle vegetarian stuff like that just think Haley Smith crossover with Lisa, Lisa Simpson and, and it just, yeah. And his sister, Jazz, is just, he's, he's, kind of, he's kind of like the serious one most of the time of the family, but, yeah, he's just, just a 16 year old trying to act like a 20 year old. I think a lot of older siblings are like that. Or just, or just a son. Anyway, in this episode we find out that it's been a month since Danny got his powers and Sam stay uh, sends the cafeteria menu to grass and mud. Well the ghost the bad ghost in this is the lunch lady and doesn't agree with that. She kinda has like um Emotional problems, emotional mood swings, I should say. He thinks he's sweet, but then he just just shouts like an evil witch or something. And he can control meat and just make meat monsters out of it, or just take me onto horn and make it look like a meat monster. Good, uh, good power. 
and Danny tries to stop him, but then he kidnaps Sam, and he get he and Tucker get into trouble. But they find Sam because Tucker has a has some superpowers of his own. He can smell meat, even if it's in the, in the room with him. And the first uh, press base sequence is good for good to see. It isn't like showy or anything, just a bit slow mo for the Z the arms, the legs, and stuff like that. But uh, it gets, gets better over the years. Now, in the subplot, Jack, who is uh, Danny's father, and Matt, Maddie, who is his mother, think that his sister is a ghost and tries to say, like, trap her. Either just using a vacuum cleaner. Yeah, just go with it. Or just a, and put a net over. A ghost net. Oh yeah, and the helpful invention in this episode. The Fenton for Thermos. Yeah, to put Fenton in any other weapons or devices, whatever. And yes, I will say it with the air and say who the villains in this in the episode are as well. Think that's a t as a ting. A ting big ting. Anyway, Danny gets a bit tired after he saves Sam Tucker from the Lone's Lady and the next day Tucker and Sam have uh, strike, strike, strike people in front of the school or just ra riding people around. Tucker with the, with the meat connoisseurs and Sam with the Vegetarian hippies. I know that they're not actual hippies, but come on, the music that introduced the introduced the, like souls and but when Danny's coming up is so happy. Anyway, I'm yet to see him one of one of the scenes that even though Jack is obsessed with getting. Or capturing a ghost, he will give it up if it would make his family happy. If he happy, yeah, happy. And he nearly does until Danny Steele takes the ten turns from him and then traps the ghost lady in it. And I, well, as I said, I didn't know how to go back to the ghost zone, but uh, then it just figured out. <laughs> anyway, this episode is decent, a good first out and for the character and I think and I got two other things to say this the theme song for this is just great it do it does what a lot of theme songs so do but actually some of them do do it but not a lot of them do tells you about the character shows you a bit of his backstory of how he got his powers and does a lot of other stuff and it's just great and the title card for it is just Awesome! It looks like some from a comic book. I think it's 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 great. I give this a five out of ten, and I'll see you guys next time. Yeah.